We are a vampire of sorts, ladies and gentlemen. And you can look at that as a bad thing or you can look at it as a good thing. And what I don't mean to say, many people are vampires. They're a negative vampire, excuse me. They take more and they give nothing back. But human beings, ladies and gentlemen, like most organisms require a symbiotic connection to the world around us. We need to take energy from the food, from food. We need to take in energy from the world around us in the form of breath. This is all an exchange, ladies and gentlemen. We are a vampiric species. It's time to realize that, accept it, and become an enlightened vampire, ladies and gentlemen. A vampire is an organism that feeds off the life force of another organism. We all do that. Plants do it as well. They take energy from the sun through photosynthesis and create energy. Our skin creates energy, creates the, uh, uh, what am I saying? It creates the hormone, but vitamin D, which is actually a hormone. Our skin produces energy when it touches and gets kissed by the beautiful energy of the giant archangel up in the sky, which is the sun. Every time we sit down to eat food, we are doing so to sustain life, to reanimate our tissues, to reanimate our minds, to reinvigorate our protoplasm, our organs, our glands, etc., with the life force which is contained within the object that we're consuming. This body is so miraculous that you, it, it knows how to weave energy or take energy out of pretty much whatever it consumes as long as it's not poisonous. It's a total flexitarian of sorts, even though I hate that word. I mean, you could feed your body macaroni and cheese and it'll find something to take out of it. True intelligent people are conscious of what they're doing every time they sit down to eat. When people eat who are intelligent, they sit down and eat as if it's a prayer of sorts. This is you sitting down to fill up your gas, ladies and gentlemen, to fill up your life force. 